What's up, ladies and gentlemen on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, and today we're gonna to be talking about how much money I have made over the last week selling vintage singles just like these ones that I have in front of me. If you'll remember, I did a video about buying a ton of Japanese vintage singles all the way from Japan and how I bring them in, uh, I look at them and evaluate them, whether they're supposed to be going for grading or whether they're supposed to be just sold as singles, kind of like binder cards. And so over the last week, I've been trying to sell them on various marketplaces, you know, eBay, Facebook Marketplace, um, Macari, all those kind of different websites. So I kind of want to share with you guys how much money in sales I made as well as the profit and the expenses and all that kind of stuff. So in this video, I'll go day by day, um, starting with Monday and ending it on Saturday morning. So I hope you guys enjoy it, thank you. So it's the end of day one, uh, which is Monday, Labor Day. All of these cards that I've sold today have been like private sales on my Instagram and on Facebook. And first thing we're gonna look into is this card. You'll remember it from one of my um, one of my previous videos on how to flip PSA cards or PSA cards, which I flip. And this was one of them, beautiful Charizard. I actually love, love, love this card. Um, it's really cool, it has a nice Flareon next to the Charizard. Um, so I really like that, only a PSA 7. So I actually ended up selling this one for $54 and I think I bought it for 29, so that would leave us with a really nice healthy profit of $25, which is not bad at all on a nice PSA card like this one. So that was my first sale which I made, and we'll stick with the graded theme. If you'll remember this really crappy, um, cracked Pichu uh, case, which I got for free. So I got this free with a Misty's Tears um, PSA 8, which I bought for like $30. And I kind of wanted just to sell this one cheap. Uh, and my good friend, Arbox Dan, said he would he wanted it. I think he's going to recreate it. Um, because this, if it is a P if it does come back a PSA 10, it is definitely worth it. It does not look like the card is scratched, it's just like a surface scratch uh, in the case. Um, like even if I run my finger over it, it doesn't really feel like anything. Uh, but I sold this for $10, um, so it's not bad at all, and uh, that'll be going out today. Um, so that was just basically $10 profit because I got it for free. Now, these costs that I'm telling you, you know, like this was sold for $10. This is, it doesn't include shipping. They did pay me for shipping. I'm just telling you guys how much it sold for without the shipping. And then the last thing that I sold, which was PSA graded, was this gorgeous Heart Gold and Soul Silver trainer card. I absolutely love this card, um, especially because it's such a low population, only one of its kind in PSA 9. Um, absolutely loved it. So I didn't make a big profit on this. I kind of, like I said, I need the capital to invest in other things in Pokemon. And I only sold it for $23, which is a $5 profit from what I bought it for. Um, so not great. Uh, not amazing, but you know, a profit is a profit and it's going to a good home, I'm sure. Now the rest of the things I'm going to show you is uh, just basically um, singles cards. There's not that many. I'm going to show you another great friend of mine bought from me. Uh, Monjarlu, he bought a gorgeous, look at this, look at this slow bro. Oh my gosh. It is so nice. And actually, this was one of the best, better condition cards, which I got. The back is not perfect, but you know, the front and the hollow itself is actually pretty clean. Um, I absolutely love, you know, the lightning in the background. Really gorgeous. He also bought, you know, a Heracross. You can't go wrong with a Heracross. And this Heracross is in really good condition. Really good condition. I absolutely love this Heracross. And what else did he get? He got Misty's Tears. Yes, he bought this Misty's Tears. Um, as you saw in my other video, it didn't come out perfectly, um, but you know, this card is really sought after since it's a banned card, and I threw in some extra um, vintage Japanese cards. I think there's five extra in here. Um, you know, you gotta put in a little bit extra for your mates, so uh, really happy with that. So I sold all of these all uh, together for $30, and with the condition these two are in, these are pretty mint. Uh, this one's probably played, but you know, it's a, it's a band card, so put these here. And I did make one more sale. Yes, only one more. We didn't have a lot of sales today, and it was a Typhlosion. Um, this card, I put it on Facebook, and I got about five messages instantly, and I kind of just gave it to the highest bidder at that point. Um, it's always really difficult when, you know, I check my phone, and I've got five messages, and I know some people message first, but, you know, I'm trying to make... Uh, trying to make money here, so I always try to go for the highest uh, if there's multiple people wanting. So this card actually sold for $11. Now, 
I didn't tell you how much profit I made on these cards, and I'm not going to tell you how much profit I made on this card either, because remember, they came in lots. But, you know, $11 for this card, if you remember the lot this came in, I think the lot was, like, $20, and there was, like maybe 15, 16 cards in it. So I already made 50% of my money back on one card. Although this is the best condition, probably it's mint condition, I would say. Not mint, sorry, near mint. So that's what I sold for the first day. Uh, not too bad. It came out as a total of $128. So for it not being on eBay and for it, you know, kind of, uh, for me, <laughs> I've spent most of the day taking pictures and not really selling. I don't think that's bad at all. Not a bad weekend at all. So uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow and hopefully we made more sales. All right, so it's day two and we made a couple sales and I was pretty surprised by them. So the first one I wanna talk about is this. So now if you'll remember, we had a lot of about 36 cards and 20 of those uh, 36 diamond and pearl cards are in here. Now, the biggest issue with selling singles is actually um, getting rid of, you know, the bulk of it. Uh, it's very easy to get rid of the very popular cards like Mew or Pikachu um, or any of the legendaries are pretty easy to pretty easy to sell. The issue comes with selling every other card. Now, I was very lucky and a viewer of the channel actually messaged me. Um, I won't give his name because he might not want to be shouted out, but uh, he actually bought 20 of these cards. So I'm going to go through them uh, with you guys. Uh, they're pretty good cards. I actually really, really like them. These cards, um, I would say, are worth around 2 or $3 each. Um, so a lot of them are in like near mint conditions. Some are damaged and played. It, it, this lot really, really varied. Um, so there are quite a lot of nice cards. I love this Torchic so much. Uh, such a cool promo. Uh, cool Blaziken. So yeah, you can see some creasing on some of them, and then others like this. Um, I think it's a Toxicroak. Uh, is really, really, really nice. Um, so it just depends. A really cool EX card there. Uh, Steelix, Licky Tongue. This one was really clean. Um, Palkia, Blissey. So as you can see, like a bit of creasing in the corner, and then a Shiftry. So I sold this entire lot um, for $40. So if you remember, I bought absolutely everything, including, you know, I've got still got this remaining. So these are the more expensive cards that I found out. So Mew, Blastars, Grudon, Darkrai, Grudon. Uh, I can't remember this one. Reg Regigigas, uh, another Palkia, Arceus, Magmortar, and Raichu. These all range from anywhere between 6 to about $20. Uh, this is like a 10th anniversary, if you can see here. 10th anniversary card. Um, this Grudon is from Crystal Guardians, I think, which is a really cool... And it's an EX, so it makes it a bit more expensive. So these cards were... A little bit more expensive. Um, so these cards turn out to be around $2 each, and that's what I sold them for. So a total of $40, and the shipping was around $2 uh, to send it to this guy. He actually lives in the same city as me, but because I have to quarantine and stuff um, for football, I'm not allowed to really like meet up with anyone. So uh, yeah, that was a nice sale, $40. We, we The whole lot was bought for around $22. We pretty much already doubled what we paid for it, and we still have the most expensive cars to get rid of. So really happy with that. So thank you so much to the buyer for that. Now the next thing we sold, we actually sold another one from that lot. Uh, this one actually was on eBay. This one was bought for $3.50. That does not include, you know, the eBay fee and the PayPal fee. So if you want to make it $3, that's fine. Uh, so yeah, not bad at all. $3 for this card. I like it a lot. It was a really nice EX. It's a pretty clean one too. Now, the last thing that we sold today uh, was actually to a friend of mine he bought on day one as well. And he wanted me to make like a mystery pack for his um, for his son. And so that's what I'm going to do. And in the mystery pack, I'm going to include this PSA card. His son has never had a PSA card. And I think, although it's a three, um, but look at this card's rare and it's in Japanese. Um, I don't think you can really get many of these anymore. And although it's a PSA three, I really struggle to see what's so wrong about it. It might be like the scratching or something. The scratching you see, this is on the 
the sleeve um but yeah on the actual car i can't really see what's wrong with it so maybe um jar you can have a look at it maybe regrade it for him if you want but it's a really really cool card and then i'm also going to put in sort of like a, a mystery pack for him so i have a ton of really cool cards lying around that i no longer need so i'm going to put that together for him um so remember this series is about me selling singles and psa cards it's not about me um selling my booster boxes or anything i just wanted to see how much i could sell uh in a week so uh, i sold this and the mystery pack for 30 dollars, including shipping so i'm pretty excited about that i'm excited that uh you know i'm giving someone their first psa card it's always really really cool to do that so we made a pretty big sell it was a total of 40 dollars here uh, three dollars here and 30 dollars here so about 73 dollars on the day, which is not bad at all for selling singles. Tomorrow, I think we have a lot of stuff in the pipeline. I have a lot of people who are, you know, saying I'll message you tomorrow about the vintage lots and the other cards. So fingers crossed they're able to pay and we can see what tomorrow brings. So it's Friday morning now and over the last 24 hours, I've made a number of sales, quite a few big sales too, which I'm really, really happy to share with you guys. So what I wanna to talk to you guys about first is this PSA card. We always start with a PSA card. Um, if you were here for my PSA flips video, how I make $500 every month flipping PSA cards, this was one of the cards that I had yet to sell and I thought it would be relatively easy to sell. And about maybe 10 days later, uh, I've managed to make a sale. This one actually sold for $36, um, and that includes the shipping. Um, it was on Mercari. Remember, I bought this for $21, so it's a little bit of a profit. It's not massive, uh, but still definitely worth uh, the buy. So that was our first one, and we made two little sales on eBay. Um, I got this lot uh, before the Baiyi lot. Um, I got this on a website in Japan. So it's a nice Meganium Hollow. It's pretty, pretty, pretty minty. Uh, I like it a lot. It's got a lovely hollow swirl. Uh, it's not bad condition at all. And then we also have a Slow King. I think it's a Slow King. Slow Bro Slow King uh, from Neo Genesis right here. Lovely condition as well. Not bad at all. Um, so those two sold for a total of of uh, $11 on eBay and then the eBay fee uh, which is around 13% of that so uh, I didn't make too much in that but I'm just glad you know there's just it's only two singles to it's not bad at all really now the next thing um, was quite a big sale a much bigger one much bigger profit and it was the Misty's Tears uh, lot right here um, we have the nice Misty Hollow and then we have the main attraction, which most people are after, the Misty card right here, which is in pretty good shape. Um, I didn't really want to grade it just because there is some light scratching, but, and you know, I always show my customers the exact condition of the card so they're not ever disappointed. And then there's a ton of Misty's cards in here, uh, some duplicates uh, that also came with my lot that I'm just uh, throwing in there. Um, so I sold this for a total of $44, uh, it was $2, about $2.30 shipping, um, so a really nice uh, profit right there. Now the biggest sale that I made was this lot right here, uh, I think it's around like 40 cards, so all those hollows, uh, I'll just go through them quickly, all the hollows that I got um, the other day from Baiyi, uh, I have managed to sell. Um, so all of these here, I would say most are in played condition. This Night of King is actually pretty nice. This Beedrill is very nice. Um, but I put it on Facebook, uh, kind of to avoid the fees. I did list these all individually on eBay and I got a lot of, a lot of offers in for them, but you know, people for, for whatever reason tend to only want like the Rhydon or the Diglett or the Hitmonlee. Like they don't want to buy a lot together. Um, so uh, I try to avoid that as best I can if I get buy, uh, if I get offers. Um, so I listed it on Facebook too, and this guy asked how much for the entire lot, and I ended up selling it for $116. Yes, $116 for all of these hollows, um, which is not bad at all. And I think around $4 or $3 of it will go towards shipping. Um, so not bad at all. All of these cards uh, that you see here will be properly sleeved, properly put into top loaders and everything. So hopefully we'll be able to sell uh, this lot right here 
tomorrow. So it's Saturday morning and I've done it. I've sold absolutely everything that I bought from Bai in Japan. So that means there's a gorgeous lot here of diamond and pearl um, holographic cards. Look at those Grudons um, have been sold. So I managed to sell these uh, all together to one buyer for a total of $60. And that doesn't include shipping or anything. That was $60 there. And not only that, but I actually managed um, to get rid of these as well. So here's some of the promos. Um, and what I did was I had a couple vintage cards lying around. But I bought these kind of a while ago in a, in a Japanese lot. And to be quite honest, they're in pretty good condition. Um, I think they're better than the Bayi ones. So uh, I put these in to kind of like tempt the person to take these off my hands and also at the same time kind of increase uh, the price and profit and everything. So I managed to sell this lot here for $20. That includes um, the shipping and everything. So yeah, I was really thrilled to have, you know, a nice solid $80 this morning. It's like 10 a.m. And I managed to sell both of these lots. So I'm very, very happy now. The moment you've all been waiting for. How much money did I make um, over the course of these? I think it was five days. I started filming this on Monday and it's now Saturday morning, so six days, I guess. Um, so let's quickly go through it. Uh, we'll go through absolutely everything uh, which I sold. And I've got my, my sheet in front of me, so hopefully I will uh, have all the correct numbers uh, tallied and everything. So in the question you're asking, how much money did I make? Well, the total sales was $471.50 across the six days. And that's not bad at all. I think that's pretty good for, you know, six days hard work. So that was just sales though. So we need to look into how much I spent to get the profit. So I spent $118.44 uh, on just the singles like these ones. Um, but then if you included the PSA cards, they were $54.44. That comes out to $172.88. Now all of the numbers that I put in these, I included the shipping in. Um, so we don't really need to deduct any of the shipping. For example, this lot was $60. The buyer will actually pay me around $64. I usually do $4 flat rate shipping. Um, so sometimes it's around $3, sometimes it's $2, depends where they live. I just say flat rate, that makes it much easier for me. Um, so the total profit, the thing you all came for, how much money did I make in six days uh, selling just vintage Japanese singles just like these? Um, and it was more than I thought, definitely more than I thought. Uh, it was $298.62. We're $1.38 uh, short of 300. And you know what? That's not bad at all because that's averaging $50 every single day. And all I have to do is pack up these cards and ship them. It's really not that much work. The Most of the work is done trying to actually sell them on uh, eBay and uh, taking pictures and that kind of stuff. That's the time consuming stuff. For me, this is a great, great way uh, to make money. And um, and, the, and the best part about it is it's fun um, because I get to look at, you know, stuff that I really enjoy, some of my favorite cards. You know, I kind of wanted to keep this Blastoise. I kind of wanted to keep uh, this Mew. Uh, they're, they're beautiful cards. And the thing is, I did keep a couple cards from that lot. Um, I kept, I think, three cards that I'm going to be sending away to PSA. So yeah, as I grow my business, uh, I suspect that um, these numbers will get a bit bigger. I will get bigger lots in. I'll get more cards in. If we deduct the PSA cards and we just look at the singles, because anyone can sell singles, really, uh, they're much easier to get hold of than PSA cards, obviously. You know, I'm still making around like $200 um, a week just on pure profit. And obviously, you know, the more capital you get, the more vintage cards you can buy and invest in and make this bigger. So, you know, I made a profit of $300 here. I can reinvest all that $300 into a lot that's two or three times the size that I started out with and make two or three times more money. Um, so that's the way I look at it. It's cool to reinvest and everything, maybe keep $100 to put aside. Uh, whatever you guys want to do. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it gave you like an insight to my week in just selling singles and PSAs. Um, and next week I might do a video on my booster boxes and stuff. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll speak to you guys again. Thank you.